Hi all, today's topic is all about steps to update bank details in Accenture. So once you got the offer letter and the DOJ, you will be joining into the Accenture company. As soon as you join, you will be getting a new laptop and again the new workspace setup and you will be uh, engaging with your new team members and everything will be new. Like uh, once you got uh, allocated to a project, all the meetings will be started and your work task will be allocated. So you will be very busy in doing your task, finishing it within deadlines. So many things will be there. So out of all these things, one more uh, exciting thing is nothing but our salary. Yes, uh, every month then uh, you will be getting the salary, right? So that is the most uh, excitement thing. Like uh, whenever it is credited, we feel very happy for one month hard work, right? So I know that... Uh, as soon as you join, you might be confused with uh, updating the bank details, right? If you people update correct bank details, then only your salary will be credited perfectly, okay? So, in order to tell you the steps, uh, I have made this video, guys. So, please watch till the end of the video. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please do subscribe. If you have any queries, uh, if you want to text me, you can ping me on Instagram by following. And you can even subscribe to Telegram channel as well in order to get the more video links. Okay, now let's get started with the video. So guys, uh, as soon as you onboard on the first day itself, uh, you need to update your bank details. It's not like that. Uh, but uh, be careful while you are updating the things because you need to update them properly. So once you get access to the AllSec portal, you can add your bank details guys. So here Accenture is providing a list of banks okay with that banks only you will be able to create the salary account and if you already have account in that banks then there is no issue you can directly add the bank details so for instance in the list of banks given by Accenture you don't have any bank account okay so for that also they will be providing the procedure to you so how to create a bank account in those things or, or else you can even visit the bank and you can create the account and add this as salary account in the Accenture too now let us see the list of banks which are uh, allowed by the Accenture okay the first bank is nothing but the Axis bank guys and uh, uh, you can if you have already account you can add that otherwise you can create salary account in the access bank and next one is the city bank okay and third one is the dbs bank and fourth one is deutsche bank and next one is hdfc bank the next bank is hsbc bank and next one is icici bank and the very next one is idfc first bank and next is kotak mahindra bank and next one is standard chartered bank and last one is SBI, which is nothing but State Bank of India. So guys, if you already have accounts in these banks, then you need not create. As I already said, you can directly upload your bank details. But if you don't have accounts, so what, what you can do? So in the AllSec portal on the left hand side, they will be giving the official websites of all these banks guys. So you can directly click that link and get the steps like how to create account. What are the required documents you need to carry with you while you are entering into the bank. So all these things or else uh, among the list which I have provided, whichever bank you feel good. Okay, like suppose you want to create your account in SBI. Okay, or else HDFC you want to create. You can visit that bank. Okay. Suppose you want to create account in ICICI, you can visit that ICICI bank and you can ask them to create your account. It will take some time and you can provide that account details once your account is created. Okay. So guys, now let us assume your account is successfully created and everything is done. Now let us see what are the things that are required to update the bank details and what are the steps to be done okay the first most important thing that you need is your pan card number guys so please keep in handy while you are updating your bank details your pan card number should be must okay second uh, you can uh, if you have the passbook you can have the account number in hand or else you can open the official account uh, i mean official site of the bank and you can see your account number so guys please be careful and keep this pan number and bank account number in hand so now go to your allsec portal in that allsec portal out of the tabs you can click on master setup tab okay so among one of the tab you can see it if once you find that master setup tab please click on that 
you will be seeing this like contacts and emergency contact details and upon the top you can see your DOJ employee number so all those things will be there right so in the first basic details it will be sometimes asking for you to enter your PAN number okay there you can update your PAN number if it is not asking and it is directly displaying your PAN number then you can ignore that and coming to the second section which is nothing but contacts there you can see so many things right like address so all these details will be there down the line please observe this fields okay bank name will be there and bank account number will be there so these two fields are mandatory for us currently so in order to get your salary credited please enter your bank name clearly okay suppose if your bank is icici please click on icic from the drop down or else enter it and next properly write your account number so once you write your account number please don't be hurry cross check twice or thrice okay so once you are sure that your account number bank name and everything is correct then you can acknowledge everything and there will be so many details which you can fill your marital status emergency contact details so all these things you can fill but the main thing is your bank name and bank account number guys so please be careful cross check and then you can click on the submit button once you are confirmed with your bank account number which is the main thing so as i told you before please check thoroughly when you are entering account number because if you enter wrong account number uh, the consequences will be like you are losing the money right uh, they will be providing that salary to some wrong account it would be not good for you you may lose the amount of because you have worked for one month and you waited for your salary and if it is credited into the wrong account it really uh, makes you feel sad so guys so please be careful and note it down correctly and once uh, you make it everything properly one month account okay one month amount if it is credited in your salary account then that is verified right so if one month it is credited properly then the remaining months you need not worry about so first month before uh, updating the bank details please be careful and uh, you can enjoy your first salary which is very much uh, you know big gift for us like first month salary is like a really exciting thing i hope it will be for everyone right so please be careful for at least first month uh, salary until it is credited and once it is credited you can be free so guys that is all for the video i hope you have understand the steps like how to uh, add your bank account details in accenture all sec portal so if you like the video please click the like button if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please do subscribe and if you have any sort of queries related to onboarding or before onboarding you can ping me on instagram or even comment in the comment section so thank you guys thanks for watching take care